Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Sparse Stalker playthrough. And... Yeah, it's still a blizzard. I mean, I slept all night and everything, and it's still... Yeah. <laughs> it's a forsaken airfield, you know, far territory blizzard. Yes. Um, it's like too dark to work on anything. Is there anything I could really do? Um, maybe. Oh, hey, no, it's the sun is technically up, so I guess it's bright enough for me to actually work on stuff. And yeah, really don't have a whole lot else I can make besides arrow traps. But at least I'm gonna have them, you know, ready to go. I'm doing something more than just, you know, passing time. Okay, there was like no clothing to tear up or anything in here, was there? Like all three. Walkers were empty, some backpack. Something hiding in the box. my guns anyway. I do need to clean the rifle actually, it's kind of low. Uh, yeah, 65%, so. Come on, Blizzard, go away. <laughs> So yeah, 93%. How's my other? Yeah, 84. Let's go ahead and clean this as well. This will probably kill the cleaning kit. No, it didn't. That's 1% left. All right, well, we're going to do it again. Here we go. We'll just leave that here. That did drop us a bit of weight. Have some peanut butter, I guess. Since it's relatively heavy. Because we are slightly overburdened right now, so lots in a pound. I could just leave some sticks behind too. I mean, it's fully bright, you know. I think poke her head out. Maybe it's maybe it's not as bad as it sounds. That's kind of what I'm hoping at this point. Because we're hitting like 16 hours of the blizzard. I think my record for a blizzard in this zone, oh, damn it, was uh, just under three days. It's like 70 something, 70 hours and something. The good news is, we need lots of sticks to pick up. We have a road we can follow. That would make this so much easier. And of course, we're heading to the hangar because A, that's where I'm going to get the radio, and B, it is probably the closest shelter to where I'm at right now. I mean, closest would be the cabin or the trailer we just left, but can't do anything there. So I'm not going to hang around. Air temperature is negative 40 with negative 50 wind chill. We have excellent equipment on, and I am still just freezing so quickly here. I 
Uh, in game, it's going to be nasty like this. I mean, uh, you know, blizzard nasty, but air temperature nasty like this all the time. So. Hey, we got a truck. We're only one bar of cold inside the truck. Or one Chevron or down air or what do you want to call it? One marker. Could bring the battery with. I don't see much of a point in it right now. If it turns out I do need a battery, there are a lot of vehicles at the hangar. Odds are one of them will have a battery. There's I think three trucks and two cars. Maybe the other way around. Hey look, hypothermia risk. Probably should not be grabbing more sticks. I don't need to be slowed down any more than I already am. Of course, you know, moving on the road gives us a, a moving speed bonus. It's still, it's, it's the air temperature has come up by a couple degrees. So hopefully that is a sign that the blizzard will be knocking off soon. Of course it could be also a sign of the fact that it's, you know, morning and the sun is doing as best job it can at warming everything up. Same. Oh wait, it just changed. Well, the sound changed. Nope. Field 31. Buckle bar and crackers, nice. Nope, nothing in there. Am I going to be warm in the terminal? I am warm in the terminal. Alright, cool. Hey, look. Let me let me a present. Why can't I break these things open? I mean, seriously. Cotton scarf. I mean, somebody already helped themselves with the vending machine, so... I can't get a handful of candy or whatever out of there. Another flare shell. Hooray! Bunch of extremely subpar clothing. Which is what I noticed previously whenever I uh, just started in this zone. Whenever uh, Sundered Pass came out. I started at Transfer Pass, came here, geared up as best I could, and then went to Sundered. And an adventure. 
Would have been a lot better if there weren't Timberwolves at Thunder, but you know. Metal parts. I love how, depending on how my character moves, the little protection from the wind symbol keeps appearing and disappearing. fairly early, so let's do this, and if nothing else, we'll kill the blizzard, so... Granted, not until tonight, but it will force the blizzard to quit and have an aurora happen in this place. Player shells. This stuff will come in handy. Another mag lens. I found plenty of those. I mean, pry bars on the other hand are impossible to find. The uh, and mag lenses are really easy to come across. All right, well, let's uh oh, grab this candy bar or granola bar. Sorry. Let's head upstairs. It was like four above inside. So it's definitely cooler than normal. So the indoor temps mod is doing this job. It's just I've got really good gear. No, we are kind of wet. Did just run like a third of the way across the zone in a blizzard though, so that's to be expected. Soda. Operations memo. Nope. What is this one about? Leaving, can't stand the lights anymore, no sleep, just no sleep. We're walking out of here. And... We get the radio now. And from inside, anyway... It almost looks like the blizzard is over with, right? Yeah, look at the visibility out there. Completed objective. Good. I even managed to heal my hyperthermia risk. Switch the lengths to mine. And it's also going to pop up with the track router go down or something, isn't it? Yep. Enter the sunder pass to look for evidence of Rudiger's escape. Yeah, the um, it's still nasty out, but uh. This is actually somewhat tolerable. Where did that arrow even end up at? Oh, he saw me. Okay. Like. Seriously. It just, yeah, it hit here, and God knows where it went after that. You over there, wolf. He just stopped and turned around. Cold. 
Where'd that other rabbit go, anyway? Oh, did you find him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you found him. A lot of wolves in the area. All right, come on, Sparky. Let's do this. Yeah, don't pay any attention to your pathways over here. It's not a sign that I'm dangerous at all, you know. Where's the last one at? Did he just leave or something? Oh, look, we got coal over here. Oh, okay, I heard you. just barely cold, but it's too windy for a fire out here. Sometimes I have a hammer here. I kind of want to harvest the wolves, to be honest. Let's start up a fire in here. Seriously, another one? There's another one behind you, too. And this one's glitched out. There it goes. It's getting stuck on a piece of train or something. I hate it when they do that little dodge at the end. Come on. more you idiots out here? How okay, much time's left on the fire? Hour and 17? Okay. Check this over here, too. Need some amount of wood. 
Let me actually drop my firewood here. And apparently that newspaper I picked up by accident. There we go. Much better. I think we're in the area. I think that will be my designated cooking area. Protected from wind on three sides. Partially protected on a fourth. And apparently really close to wolves. Give it a week and I'll have six more of them over here. Heather. And we're gonna have, oh yeah, bone fragments piling up. All right, get another wolf. And I feel like once I cook up all this wolf meat, I'll be cooking level five and I can eat carnivore meat without a problem. sticks here too. Wow, the wind just really died down. Yeah, we are exhausted, so that's our main issue right now with weight. We are the tired. Oh, and it's a glimmer fog. Nice. Guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Uh I'm probably going to end up with an insomnia risk. Let's... We're getting there, but yeah, Kirk's Harvesting is going to take a little bit more, it looks like. I'm not getting as many points off of each wolf as I was hoping I would. My only hope for not getting insomnia is to go into the basement of the hangar. That's probably good enough for now. I figure if I go into the basement for a couple of hours and then, you know, sleep, come back up after the sun's gone down, we'll have an aurora going on. I'll we'll have to worry about the zombie risk and I can play around with the radio a bit. Glimmer fog doesn't hurt. Hmm. I think I need to head this way. 
Turn around to see exactly where you're going right now. What is my risk at anyway? 32%. Okay. Yep, there's the hangar there. Of course, right now I'm overburdened and too tired to run anyway, so. outside but okay Need 12 guts I'm over here got two rapid pelts I have wolf pelts let's go to the basement oh the invisible stairs are here <laughs> I don't know why but they don't render sometimes I mean, they're there, you can walk up them and everything, but... Hangar basement. You can find a hammer in the zone, though. I thought I had more scrap metal on me than that. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's going down fairly quickly. Huh, there's another piece of coal over here. have a potato sack. Let's go ahead and pull all those guys out. We'll just drop them over here as well. Alright. Finish off the peanut butter. Can of tomato soup. tools here as well. Sleep like three hours. And that is the sound of an aurora. Now we can actually move. Another damn flare shell. Right, da, 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 da. A ship supervisor note. Okay. All right. Well, let's head upstairs. Well, nothing in the plane. Couldn't check this one, I guess. Yeah, find some water. All right, that's a plus, right? Oh, 
Oh, look at that piece of cloth. Most productive vehicle we've found so far. Of course, we have a helicopter over here. These have a lot more spaces to hide things. We found some matches and a little bit of scrap leather. Planks we can chop up. More leather. Okay. AC's grape soda. Electronic parts have no use for anything. Battery has no use. all like scrap paper no notes or anything okay and a barrel we could break down if we want to don't particularly want to so room scrap metal sure why not Malfunctioning computers. I wonder if we play a game of solitaire or something real quick. Maybe Minesweeper, you know. I doubt I could check my email. I mean, yeah, that's going to require a lot more than just, you know, a little bit of power. Um, I wonder if they ever fixed this. If you broke this table down, it used to leave the stuff on top floating in midair. Oh, look. A toque. Okay. You know, I'll go ahead and grab the nuts and bolts and the tape roll. There is like a uh, portable tent I can make. There's two different varieties. There's a regular one made out of tarps, and there's one made out of uh, bear hide. Oh, it's got a can opener, lighter, amber flat porridge. Okay. Plastic waste, I think there are some uses for that. It's just really rare, honestly. It's hard to find just a scrap of plastic around the world. Who the hell keeps cans of sardines in the fridge? Here's the folks, what the hell? Yeah, it is salt, okay. You can sometimes find a, like a skillet or something here. Yeah, I'll grab that just because I can. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing it, but no skillet for us. Oh well. Not like I haven't found a lot of them. Hey, it's the shower bunny.
pair of trail boots. Room. Okay, I'm gonna drop the toilet water here. Like, because I don't feel like cooking it right now to, to sanitize it. So. We'll have access to it later if we need it. Cloth pillow, energy drink, box. Yep. I don't think we're going out tonight to uh, explore the world, though. Would be a good night to do it because I just killed six wolves in the area, but I'm kind of tired, so. I'm not sure how much longer the Aurora is going to last for. It'd be nice if it lasted all night, but uh, there's no guarantees of that. Well, more matches anyway. Something behind that pallet. Almost. Okay, there's stairs down. better. <laughs> Less inventory clutter, so. burden because I'm tired, so I'm okay with that. 100% sardines. Those are the ones we pulled out of the fridge, and that 100% sardines are super rare, and yeah. Oh, look, there's a fire log, too. Alright, what's weather like? Weather is halfway decent. Okay, off that direction a bit. I want to search this little hangar over here. We're still on the never-ending quest for a pry bar.
kind of hard to see from outside if there's anything inside of a helicopter cockpit. These planes are fairly quick for the search. Definitely is a beautiful night, but uh, I'm really thankful I took the feat that uh, Celestial Navigation thing is what it is. Move faster during Aurora, which is kind of nice, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing this. bad is it out? Oh wow, it's actually really nice. For a second airfield, that's amazing. So... Flashlight, a flare shell, a flare, a flare shell. Give me the damn distress pistol already. Serious a game. I'm really starting to get tempted to install the Forge Blueprints mod, which. One of the things it adds in is an ability to actually forge a hammer at a smithy and pry bars. Also cooking pots, but those have not been an issue. Hello, I have a hammer now. Okay, well. Into the runway. It is an Aurora. I do kind of want to check out the cabin on the island out there, though. That's where you can find the sport, though. Well, one of the locations, but that's where I've had the most luck finding it. Up that plane crash first. That's also a spot where you can find the sport bow. Well, I'm not seeing anything on the ice. Oh, we got a flashlight we can use to spook wolves with. I don't really see any around here, though, which is... It's a good sign, but it's also slightly disconcerting. Especially as soon as the blizzard ended earlier, there were six wolves that spawned immediately around the hangar. Get out here, and I'm not seeing anything. It's just like, okay, where are they hiding? Oh, 
Boulder Lake. Oh, I see one way out in the distance over that way. So, they are around. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a wolf. It's either a wolf or a bear, so... starting. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. Okay, look at that. There's the sport bow. So now I can do the two bow trick again. Just keep the sport bow with a fire hardened on it. And that way I won't have to worry about switching bows. That's the bear. Okay. Not messing with a rubber bear right now. I mean, I could probably take it down without too many issues, especially since that plane's right there, but I really have no desire to do so right now. No need nor desire. There we go. There's a bunch of wolves to my left. Three of them, it looks like. Uh, there might be a fourth one hanging out back there, a ways. But they are not a threat, so. There's five. And I see another one up there. Yep, wind is picking up. Okay. It sounded like it was, but... Well, correction, there's four of them over there. So the moose is going to be here right now. He might be here when I wake up. It's actually a really easy place to hunt the moose from because you can just basically stand on these rocks here and just pop them with a rifle. Better if you lure him back here, you, you can kind of break his pathfinding on the, the walkway here. or something like that is what this place is called. We need wood. 
you can break these barrels open. It takes almost no time at all, and you get scrap metal out of it. So this is actually a really good place to level up your fishing. There's tons of metal around here to make hooks with. Just... Yeah, there's at least 10 barrels. It takes 20 minutes each to break them. lose this path. Didn't mean to drop all of them. There we go. Yep, good, I can see him from here. And there can be rabbits and ptarmigan up here as well, which is kind of handy. So I do need to repair one of my improvised installations, but I left all my ptarmigan down. At the depot. Even a workbench back here. And a flask. Nice. Alright, well we have we've got the sport bow, we got the hammer. There is usually a revolver in here. Not this cabin, it's the other one. Okay, never mind. The one with the upstairs bedroom. There is a hidden compartment behind the stairs. So this place though has arrows. Can of peaches, we got some more salt. Got the Polaroid. Got the other one for the zone now. definitely low on. I think I am going to go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one. Sign signing out. Look, spuds. Have fun.